time I film a video, it's really windy. But you know what? It's fine. So, now we're gonna start class two. Oh, you guys are doing your song too. Look at the pate. Um, bye. Love you, Faoi, and the Otabai, Faoi, and Faoi family music. So, this is the song from Moana. Um, like, theme or whatever. So, what you're going to do is, like we practiced, you're going, you're having your baton on the floor already in the spot um, where you move. So you're in your beginning position, you know, you're here, one, two, three, four, five, seven, excuse me, five, six, seven, eight, you walked, then it's one, two, three, four, walk to your spot, five, six, seven, eight, for the girls on the side, because remember we're in that pyramid type thing, you are going... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One at that point of this um, pyramid. You're just going to stay in your spot where, where you put your baton. You're just going six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? This is all. One, two, three, four, five. And seven, go, one, two, three, four. Grab your baton, five, six, seven, eight. Then next, we face to the right. Hand on hip, feet together, thumb to ball, and one, two, three, four, five counts. Scooping under our legs, facing the front. Going to the left side. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to pass under our leg, under our right leg. Hand out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're going to drop it down, flip to where you're holding the ball of your baton. If you're already holding the ball, just drop it down and do a loop. All right. But tip, ball, one end, other end, doesn't really matter because it does the same thing. But I just prefer using the bigger end because it's just a lot easier to control and maneuver. So anyway, after you're done, you've caught it. Drop it down to the end, flip it to the ball. Then we're going to do loops. Loop towards, have your arm up as you, so then as you um, drop it down at when it, you're holding the tip after you do your last elbow roll, when you drop it down, when you flip it up, arm up as you catch. All right, then moving on, step out to the left, put your weight on your left foot, point your right toe, arm still up, and loop towards yourself, up, away, towards your um, open arm, then taking a step with your left foot, pointing your right toe, and just putting your arm down towards the, the right, then dropping your baton down so it hits the floor. Then you will kick it, five, six, one, two, We'll land on your right shoulder as you kick it up. You're going to put it on your right shoulder, center of your shoulder blades. You should feel it in between, like this. And then to your left shoulder. 
Now we're going to bring it down. All right. After that, we're going to taffy pull it. So straight out, bring your left arm up, bring it down, right arm up. Then you're going to strip your baton. So basically just meaning you're going to pull your right arm down and bring it, push it back to the front. All right. So here, down, over, up, taffy pull, flourish back. Then we are going to go loop, loop, toss under leg, catch. All right. So tagulina, tagulina, something, something like that. Then we will go hand pass, back pass, hand pass, under one leg, out. Then we are going to get ready for our thumb tosses. Now this are, this week we're going to do the assessment. So based on whether you can do your one spin or not, we're going to place you on that just so everything looks better and we can evenly space everybody out for safety. So all together, we will go flourish up on your toes, toss, catch. All right. You can put your hands up or we can have them stay down catch but it's a lot easier for beginners for when they go up they already have their arms up so they're prepared to catch okay but after you catch your arms down then we will have a little like group solo you know what I mean of our one spins okay so then we'll have the one spinners go go one two three four five seven Okay, then we will move on to partner work, okay? And you're going to be using your left hand. So when we do that, you've caught in your one spin or you've caught your thumb toss. And if you're not doing the thumb toss, just stand pretty and just do flourish behind the back. All right? So then you're going to wrap around your head reach out grab hands with your partner and I'll tell you like partners or partners or you know like here here that's when you're going to look at like go to your partner all right so then when you see your partner you will go arm roll back wait yeah back flourish stepping back away from them so you go here back to them then you will do a pass to each other pass back so when you just throw your baton to them and then the very last part of it is we're going to have shortest in the front tallest in the back behind each other I don't have another person to do this with so We'll do that later. We'll work on that. Yeah. But if you're in the back, yeah. you're the tall person, you're going to loop up, pass to your other hand. See how it's going from, from right hand, left hand, and you're grabbing with your left hand. Then you're going to bring it down, pass behind your back, pass in front of your friend, or your partner <laughs> and then passing back to your right hand there's a lot of passing for the back people but it looks a lot cooler okay and then the short person who's in the front is going to step up flourish hands up and catch all right make sure your hands are up in like ballerina pose or they're up here but close to your ears flourish squeeze catch all right so that it makes it a lot easier for the person to go around your waist got it? so 
that's where we'll be ending the um, baton portion. So then you'll put your baton down, back away from your baton, and then we'll do our hula. So you're stepping out, you're gonna be a pow. You're gonna be bending your knees. Step out, bring this hip out, kick. That's where you're gonna transfer to the next hip while doing this circle motion, all right? You're gonna go one, two, three, four, then five, six, seven, eight. Then as we're going away this way, we're going to circle back and then go the opposite direction and where we came from. All right, we'll go over that part um, when we get back to class. Please go over this even after we have class. Make it a lot easier on yourself and please practice. I will see you guys next week. Bye!